All right, now I want to show you what Mr. Sawyer did. I teach visualization. I take that piece of paper and hold it in front of your face. And you that are on television, looking on television, you do this too. Now, and I'm going to repeat again while we're getting ready to do this, you can't lose with the stuff I use. Just take a piece of paper. It's your, and think of it as your check stub. This is what he did. Every time he got his check stub, was this every week or what? Uh, every month, once a month. He got his check stub once a month. Whenever you get your check, look at it. And instead of seeing just the amount on there that's printed on there, see the amount on there that you want it to be. That's what he did. And he said it came to pass after he kept visualizing, seeing on his check stuff what he wanted to be on there, it came to pass that it was. The scripture says, where there is no vision, the people perish. What does this mean? This means that if you cannot visualize yourself in a better condition, you will die in your present condition. If you cannot visualize yourself with more money, you will die without having more money. If you cannot visualize yourself in a better position, you'll die without ever reaching that better position. Hold that check stub in front of your face again. Now every one of you, and you don't even have to wait until every week when you get your check stub, you can start doing this at home. Don't let anybody see you doing this, they'll think you're crazy. Go in the bathroom to do it, if that's the only place you can get privacy. <laughs> and just look at it and see what you want to. You know, you can use your vision to create whatever you want. That's what this young man did. This is the visualization technique that works. Now, some people may be saying, well, Reverend Ike, suppose I want a certain position that I'm not qualified for. Can I just visualize it and it will happen? Yes, it will happen, but there are some steps in the process. If you look at a piece of paper and visualize it as your check for a position or for work that you're not qualified to do at the moment, that visualization will lead you to take the necessary steps to qualify yourself for that position, which will bring you that kind of money. And now we're going to have a visualization prayer treatment for health, happiness, love, success, and prosperity. People have written in and said, Oh, Reverend Ike, why do you waste all that money putting gold on the wall? That's too extravagant. I know what I'm doing. You just sit down, you're rocking the boat. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. People will come in here and see this and it will give their subconscious minds a charge of prosperity. Relax in your seats now. While you're relaxing in your seats and we're about to do the visualization prayer treatment, let me remind you that visualization is using your mind to see and feel yourself being, doing, and having the good which you desire. Now, whatever you desire, you must learn to visualize, to imagine yourself having it in the present tense, now. Don't imagine yourself according to what I want to have or what I will have, but imagine in the present tense. It already is. Now get as comfortable as you can, stretch out your feet if you wish. I want you to tilt your chin slightly upward. We do not bow down or kneel down to pray in this church because we do not believe that bending over and bowing down are positions in which to get a blessing. Kneeling down and bending over is a position in which to get a kick in the behind. And you've had enough of bows. Now with your chin tilted slightly upward, close your outer eyes and open your inner eye of faith. Repeat this with me. 
I now enter the theater of my own mind. And I look upon the stage of my imagination. Look. I see a beautiful person walking by the water. Look. Let me get a closer look at this beautiful person. Walking by the water. Oh. It is me. My divine self it is. I see, my self, I see my divine self and my divine self is so beautiful, and my divine self is so beautiful. I, see a smile on my face. I see a smile on my face there is a glow of health, glow of health. coming from my entire body My divine self is so healthy. I see God moving in every limb, in every organ, in every facet and function of my mortal body. Thank you, God, in me. I see myself eternally youthful as I move from birthday to birthday. God in me remains strong, God in me remains strong and, healthy. and healthy. Thank you, God, in me. Thank you, God in me. I see my divine self. I see myself as a happy person. Listen to that laughter. Listen to that laughter. <laughs> It is my laughter. <laughs> the joy of the Lord just pours out of me. I spread an epidemic of joy and happiness wherever I go. <laughs> Listen, I'm laughing. Look. I'm smiling. I'm smiling. <laughs> Thank you, God, in me for this joy, for this smile. This smile lights up the entire universe. I see myself loving and being loved. divine order. Thank you, God, in me. Now open your eyes slowly. Anything that you can see in your subjective imagination, you will be connected with it by means of vibratory affinity and subconscious correlation. If you want to know more about it, come to these classes in the science of living. One last thing that I want to always tell you over and over again because it's important. Always visualize just before going to sleep. That's the one most important time if there is a one most important time. Before you go to sleep every night, visualize yourself being, doing, and having the good which you desire. Because while you are asleep, your conscious mind is in abeyance for a longer period of time than at any other period in your daily life. And when you impress the subconscious just before going to sleep, the subconscious works with that idea that you've given it, even while you're asleep. The subconscious mind will be correlating you with all of the good which you have visualized. You say you may not realize it, but your mind is working for you, or against you, 
even while you are asleep. And the mastermind within you says that if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. And whatever idea you lift up before your subconscious mind, before you go to sleep, that idea is impressed upon the subconscious and it draws that to you. You'll wake up in the morning and the right ideas will just be clicking in your head. You'll meet the right people for the right purposes at the right time. You'll meet strangers, but they'll be right for your right purpose. People will do things for you and they won't even know why. <laughs> I heard somebody say, I know it. You can't lose with the stuff I use. Say that.